Um, today's project is going to be the combi. Um, I'm not going to do any real work on it, but what I'm going to do is fuck this sun and get somewhere where I'm out of the sun. Ah, still shit house. This is a product, Penetrol. Um, you can buy it from most hardware stores. It's only about 30 $35, so it's, it's not much. Um, and it's designed to basically adhere to old paint. And more importantly, it's designed to adhere to bare metal surfaces. So, for example, your rust. Um, so when we have an old car like this, like a combi, and we're trying to preserve the um, patina on it, it's perfect because it will adhere to this, um, where the paint is thin and you've got the surface rust there. It will also adhere to, you know, some of the cosmetic side of things. But what it's doing is it's also preserving the bare steel from corroding any further. Righto, so here's our penetrol. Here's a soft rag, um, preferably something that's not going to leave lint behind. Um, so we tip this onto this and then we wipe downwards. Um, you'll see that basically the penetrol will make the paintwork glossy and as it dries it'll dull off again. So I'm just going to show you how I've applied it. Um, it's a bit difficult for me to try and hold the camera and show you, but basically um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory what you're supposed to do. Alright, so I'm going for the Mexican look today. Um, as you, some of you guys might know, the sun and ginger doesn't mix. So I'm all covered up. Um, I'm applying the um, Penetrol. Now the technique I use is from top to bottom and the reason I do this is it voids um, your eye is attracted to different textures and if you wipe the penetrol on like that you're more likely going to notice all the swirl marks than you are if you're going top to bottom as the penetrol dries the streaks will disappear don't try and go over the penetrol once you've applied it. If you've missed a spot, you need to wait till it dries, then reapply. Otherwise, it will start dragging and um, picking up bits of lint off the cloth, and you'll find that you've actually made it a lot worse than it needs to be. So if you've missed a spot, don't worry about it. You'll get it on the second time you go around and do the car, which I usually leave it till the following day. So, it's just a bit, and we just start top to bottom. Just keep going in the same direction through the whole process of covering, in this case, the door. Now I'm not sure if the camera will pick up the streaks, but they will disappear. But you, you must go in the same direction. You must keep going in the same direction that you started at the, I don't know, the edge of the panel. Um, That way you're going to get a better job. I've been keeping myself so busy Pushing out the misery Trying to find the peace in me
So that's it guys, it's pretty simple. You basically put in a um, temporary clear coat of a, a clear primer, so to speak, over the entire vehicle and it etches itself into the paintwork and any exposed metal so that the metal won't oxidise any further. And as I said, it does preserve it, but its life is limited because of the ultraviolet lights in some ultraviolet rays in the sunlight breaking it down because it's designed to have a coat over the top of it. But if you want a cheap method to preserve your paint patina, by all means, do what I've done. I hope this video has been informative. And don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button and keep up to date with my videos. Thanks guys. Take care. Till next time. Bye.